Welcome to iLecture Online, and here's another topic for us in algebra, namely synthetic division. And actually, synthetic division is a pretty cool thing. And the first thing we're going to talk about is how we can replace what we normally do as long division. For example, if we have something like this, we have a polynomial to the second power, and we're supposed to divide it by x minus 2. How do we normally do that if we use long division? Well, we used to do it like this. We go, okay, x minus 2 it divides into 4x squared minus 3x plus 5 in the following way. So since we have two terms here, we take the first two terms and say, okay, how many times does x go into 4x squared? And the answer is 4x times. So we write 4x here, and then we multiply this times both of these. So 4x times x is 4x squared. And 4x times a minus 2 is a minus 8x. And now subtract these two terms from what's above. And of course, this minus this gives you 0. And this minus this, remember, the minus times a minus becomes a plus. It's like adding 8x to a minus 3x. That gives us a plus 5x. And then we drop the next term. We get plus 5, and we do this again. How many times does x go into 5x? And the answer is 5 times. So 5 times x is 5x. And 5 times negative 2 is minus 10. Then we subtract these two terms from what we had above. And this minus this is 0. And this minus this, of course, we subtract a negative number. That's like adding a positive number. So we get plus 15, which is the remainder. And so what that means is that this division is equal to 4x plus 5 plus the remainder, 15, divided by the divisor, which is x minus 2. And that's how we do long division. So you say, well, how do we do this with synthetic division? So now we're going to show you how to do the very same thing, but with synthetic division. Synthetic division is as follows. You put the coefficients of the polynomial inside here, just instead of this with x's, you simply put the coefficients down. So this is 4, minus 3, and 5. And then, instead of putting x minus 2 down, you put the negative of the second number here. So instead of putting negative 2, we put a positive 2 down. Okay. Next, what we do is put a line here. We drop the 4 down here, and now we go 4 times 2, which is 8. And then we add these together, and so 8 plus minus 3 is a positive 5. Then we multiply 5 times 2, we get 10. Then we add these two together, and we get 15. And there's your remainder, and there's the coefficients of the first two terms with 4 and 5. So this, this then means that this is 4x plus 5 plus the remainder of 15 divided by the divisor of x minus 2. And you can see how this is a lot faster than doing longhand division. So again, let's... Um, Here's my red pen. Let's go through this again. So what we do for synthetic division, we take the coefficients of the polynomial. Of course, we can't forget the negative here. So we put 4, negative 3, and 5 down. Then we take this number right here, and we multiply that times a negative 1. And we plug that in here. That becomes a positive 2. The reason why we do that is that way we can simply add the numbers instead of subtracting. That's the only reason why we multiply this times a negative 1. So we can make this into an addition rather than a subtraction, which is a little bit easier. Then the, the next thing you do is you drop the 4 down. And you take the 4 and you multiply it times the 2. And you place that over here. That becomes an 8. And then you simply add the 2 together. We get 5. And then you take the 5 and you multiply that times the 2, you get 10, and you place that over here, you add them together, and then you're done. Here's your remainder, and these are the coefficients of the 4x plus 5, and the remainder 15 over x minus 2. So, synthetic division, pretty cool thing, and just wait till see all the other things you can do with synthetic division. Okay, that's a good introduction for you.